Hey guys and welcome to the DOM Detailer software video guide series. In this video I'll be showing you how to set up the software so that you can start checking the, the stats of any domain that you wish. Okay so first we need to go to the settings tab. In here you'll see we have two main controls and the apply settings button. In the first control we have the API code. Whenever you purchase credits for the DOM Detailer API you will receive an email stating how many credits you've purchased as well as an API code. So if you just copy that code and paste it into this box here, that is your API setup. Now in your threads you can set this higher or lower. The higher you set it the faster it will run but you will get to a point of diminishing returns where you start to experience timeouts and things of that nature. So it's best that you keep it to a realistic amount for your internet connection. Now I've got it set at 20 here because I'm on a, a domestic internet connection. Um, really I know my connection will handle up to around 50 as a good um, home internet connection will but I'm using 20 because it'll still allow me to use the internet, it's not going to interfere with anything and it's still got to run um, at fairly optimal speeds. Um, if you're using a VPS and it's the only software that you're running at any one time you could probably set that to 100 threads or maybe a little higher and you shouldn't have too many problems with that but at 20 pretty much any internet connection should be able to handle 20 without a problem. So from here I'm going to apply the settings by clicking the apply settings button and if you've done it right you won't get any error message and you'll notice that in the bottom left hand corner here you have the DOM detailer credits and how many credits you have on that account. Um, because we haven't added any um, domains yet you'll see that none of the threads are working that's fine there's no jobs for it to do there's no domains being worked on so the number of threads working will be zero as soon as we start adding domains and it starts checking those domains you'll see that the threads working will increase up to the point where um, it hits the the maximum threads not really anything you need to concern yourself with either of those um, but that's just what they are so now we have all that set up we can start importing the domains um, we can do this from any method from entering them manually into the text box you can import them from a, a text file or you can import them from the clipboard so if you have um, a bunch of domains already in your clipboard you can just click that and it will um, it will import those so I'll show you a small example here so say we have these domains what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those so they're in the clipboard and you'll see if I click import from clipboard it will import the three domains and then automatically it will start checking uh, the, the different stats of those domains okay very easy um, we can also import from the text box um, strange I look at a lot of websites every day yet when you've got to think of some off the top of your head it's hard to think of any um, start showing my uh, geek card here um, you can add from text box just like that and also you can import from file see we have a file here with lots of domains so all I'm going to do is select that I'll show you the uh, format this file is literally just one domain per line and there's, I think there's around 6,000 domains so what I'm going to do is just select that file click open and you'll see straight away DOM detailers loading in these domains and it's going through the list going through the list of domains and checking them you'll notice when the domain is checked and it has the stats for them there'll be a check mark here and all the um, requisite stats are here I'll show you the ones that have been checked you'll see that the more authority domains obviously have the higher stats um, and we also have some uh, more sort of noteworthy domains um, lots and lots and lots of domains but as you can see down here the working threads is now 20 because there's enough um, 
domain jobs in there to keep the threads busy and out of the I think there was around 6,000 added initially is now 5,700 and you might get to a point where it's doing one every few seconds but then you'll notice that it will it will just jump uh, and do 10 and then 20 at a time okay so that's Dom detailer how to set it up oh uh, there's also the stop button here if you want to stop the work you'll see that the number of jobs stops going down number of threads working starts to drop down so when all of those jobs have been finished the the number of threads working will drop back down to zero again and you can start it up again by pressing the start button and you'll see the jobs start dropping and the threads working increases um, so while that's doing that you can also export the list of domains by CSV or by XML um, both of these options will export them as a f um, export them to a file with all of the domain stats such as the domain name and all the the Moz and majestic stats um, to whatever file you want so that's really all there is to start uh, Dom detailer and how to get it set up and running perfectly okay so I hope that's been helpful to some hope it shows you quite how easy and quick Dom detailer is to get set up and how it can be used for um, comparing domains and such one thing I didn't um, mention is that you can order the list by um, PA DA um, citation flow if you like or even trust flow or referring domains so if if you're all about the referring domains you can check those or if you're all about the citation flow or trust flow you can sort by whatever metric you want so that's that there's um, it's a fairly simple tool but if you're buying and selling domains you'll know that it's very important that you're getting up-to-date information about those domains and that you're not breaking the bank in doing so obviously if you were to have a majestic account for $45 plus VAT um, which in a lot of European countries is 20% or more then you're going to be getting 25,000 API calls in that month if you don't use them up in that month then you will not get them the next month you'll get another 25,000 for your $45 plus VAT with Dom Detailer you can get that many API calls for a much lower price of $17 all included um, and also if you don't use the credits up one month they'll roll over to the next and the next and so on they don't ever expire so just on the majestic stats alone you can save money in that respect and also uh, you get free Moz stats to boot so if you're looking for domain stats and you want them quick and you don't want to pay through the nose for them Dom T Detailer is what you want okay so thanks for watching the video um, I hope it's been helpful and have a great day